Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am showing you, I've recycled some Sips by Tea um, boxes. These are just the cutest little thing, and I'm showing you how I've created two Happy Mail, mini Happy Mail um, Halloween treats. So I've been so inspired by some of my fellow paper crafters. Um, either have sent me a happy mail, Janice sent me something, and I just had so many fun things to use, as well as um, I created a little impromptu random act of kindness to send Serena something, and that made me want to send more happy mail. So I have some pen pals, and we don't normally send uh, boxes, but I thought I would send like a, a little miniature box and that way I could add some fun things. So I'm gonna put some ledgers in the bottom of her gift here. And I have to kind of fold that over so it'll fit in. And then I've created a little mini loaded envelope. <laughs> it's just like, it's like a little mini loaded bag actually. And um, I wanted to gift her one of these clips because I just love these and I want to give them to everyone because I think they're so fantastic. Uh, inside I've put a letter that I have written for her. And I've just reused a tag that was gifted to me in a tag flip and I put it on um, an envelope and I wrote a card and um, and letter and everything that goes in there. I had to keep this kind of thin so that it would fit in the box so I just put the letter inside and then I glued the edge of this pocket here. I stitched around and I embellished the front so that I have a little pocket and then I've done up a little um, little gift of some pretty bling as well as this ribbon. I've just decorated it very simply with these cute matching colors. Like everything was purple so I thought that was just adorable. I've gifted her some tea and I've put a tag on it that was made for me by Jana and it matched so perfectly with the um, with a tea bag and everything. It's a ginger tea underneath there. And then I'm just tucking in a couple of these tags for some added layer of uh, dimension here just to bulk up the little gifts and then it just adds another little layer. So I'm gonna put that on top of there. I'll have to clip the bag in place again. <clears throat> Put this little clip on here which is part of the gift more than anything and I have to fold these down so it'll fit in the box so that's a fun little component there tuck that in there then I have gifted her now this one has some treats inside some little chocolate bars so I thought this was super cute to create my own envelope with my one, two, three, we are Memory Keepers punch board. I love that thing to make like a super quick, easy little um, house to put some fun um, treats in. So that, like, that was super simple and it stays together really well. I've layered it with some of this like netting that I got from Hobby Lobby. Jana sent a couple of these elements to me in her happy mail and so I put them all together and then finished it off with the Tim Holtz um, word stickers there which I love those. I'm gonna put that on the side there and then this is some fun uh, cappuccino. So it's like little packets of cappuccino and it's got instructions and everything. So that's what's inside here. I wanted to just send her some little treats that she could uh, enjoy uh, or share if she's not a coffee drinker. So there's some tea, there's some coffee or cappuccino. Um, and so again, I've layered it up with the same sort of netting and some stickers and some layered tags. And uh, I had to put to use the Happy Mail that my friend Jana sent to me. And then I am going to just use this last little bit um, of fun, not a lot, just a little bit of shred to top off. And I'm gonna put the skull on there so it, when she opens it up, that's ready to go. Um, and it sort of greets her. And I'm actually even gonna put in for some sound. I'm gonna actually just layer in a couple of these fun, sparkly, 
sequins that uh, that I like so much. I'm gonna add a little bit of color in there too. So that will be sent off and now I can show you my next one. So here is the second box that I have um, all decorated up so that it hides the fact that it said sips by at one point and I just did a couple little um, decorations on the cover there. I'm gifting her this pumpkin cupcake shea butter hand cream. It smells really really yummy as well as I've done up for her a little um, gift inside here is a face mask. So I've put together just a little bit of layering again some of the things that Jana has sent to me. I've uh, layered in with some other tags and um, put together a little cover for this envelope here. And I'm actually going to put just a little bit of this shred down there to protect the lotion and then that's going to go on top. Inside here I have gifted her some little Halloween candies and it says Boo Crew. I layered it up with this fun little inflated ephemera, some tags, as well as some stickers. Um, this is the doodle bug paper and a fun little um, embellishment ephemera there as well. And then I just made an envelope again with that one, two, three punch board and I've clipped it together with a clip. And then I've packaged her up a same one of that ginger, organic ginger tea, seems very seasonal. And I've topped it with a little ribbon and a little pumpkin. Inside here, I've gifted her some tags inside and I've decorated it up with some fun little ephemera again. I made another size envelope. I love that envelope punch board. It is a fantastic way to create quick and easy envelopes for projects. This is that Doodlebug collection as well. Got a little sticker on here. And um, I just put Halloween across and I've created um, a letter and card and everything for her in there. Let's put that on the top of hers. And then I'm going to just tuck in some fun little candies as well as some shred and then that can go out with some little sparkles in it as well. So that's it. So that is my little miniature Happy Mail that I have created for some pen pals. So they'll be quite surprised when they don't get an envelope in the mail with a letter. They get a little treat to go with it. So some fun ideas there, how to use your one, two, three punch board, as well as how to um, reuse packaging from subscription boxes, for example. I love to reuse boxes wherever I can. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I post lots of crafty videos and unboxings. If you um, would love to be part of this crafty community, I'd love to have you here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye.